Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how to create a web view in Kotlin and it's a very simple process. It should take only a minute or two to get the basics down. But uh, essentially you can just add any web page you like. Uh, most web pages such as Google, you can type something in. It can pretend it doesn't know where you're going. It, it does lots of things for you and it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I also implemented the back button so it doesn't exit the app when you click back but it goes to the previous page. And yeah, we'll be making this in this tutorial. So let's get started immediately by closing this window and going to our res file and opening the layout and opening activity underscore main dot XML. Then we can go to the split bit. And here we're just gonna write in web view to save time. And we're gonna do match parents for the two heights and width, just like that. And you can remove this text over here. I forgot, we have to add the ID, of course. So we'll do uh, web view, web view. And it froze momentarily, but there we go. Then we can go to our main activity file, and inside here we're gonna write a method called web view setup. And let's just make it down here. Private function of web view setup. And the first thing we want to do is refer to the WebView client so it stays within the app and doesn't exit to an external WebView client such as Chrome or whatever your phone takes care of. So we're going to write WebView and we're going to do dot WebView client and that's going to equal WebView client like that. Then we can do the very simple part which is loading a URL and we can do the web. We have to get our WebView again from our XML and write dot apply so we can add multiple parameters and inside here you can just write loads url and with that let's just copy the basic google url which is going to be written like this and it's important you add the https as far as i know sometimes the page won't load because you're missing an s or you're missing something it should be very specific the url should be good and then that, that's essentially all you need actually to make this work. But of course we want to add a few other things such as maybe you want your JavaScript enabled. You can just type in settings and you can write JavaScript enabled and you're gonna set that to true. In case you need JavaScript, it's gonna give you an error or like a warning. And we're just gonna suppress that warning because it said some things might not work properly if you enable this and that's fine. And also they have other settings that you can go through of course. As you can see, like allow file access, uh, safe browsing enabled, or there's lots of things here that you can look into. But we're just going to add safe browsing enabled just for the example of this video. And essentially what this does, it warns you if there is a bad page or something with malware or whatever. Some page you shouldn't go to, some website that's not safe to browse. But that requires the O, the API O, so maybe you can skip it. We'll just add it here for this example. And of course, it didn't load because we forgot to add to our manifest file the user's permission. So we'll just write user's permission, permission internet, close it, and we can go back to our main activity and click play again. And this time you've got the web view. You can click on it, it doesn't get out of the app, and it works pretty great. But the only problem we have now is that when you click back, it exits the app instead of just going back in the web view. So to fix this, we will go down here and create another function. Uh, not create another, but we're going to override on backpressed. And inside here we will write, if our web view can go back, we will tell it to go back. So we'll do the same thing, dot go, go back. Else we just want to call uh, super dot on backpressed. And that's all you need. So essentially what we do here, it checks if it can go back. If it can, it will go back inside the web page. Otherwise, it will just go back to whatever was before that. So if you open the app, it will go to the home screen. If you opened an intent, it will go back to the main activity. And it's just a nice function to have to make everything work smooth. And yeah, that's essentially all you need to make this simple web view. And now if you try typing something such as a duck, and we go to duck, and we go to images, you'll see we have all these ducks, but that's not the point. Now, if you want to go back, it just works fine. It's a, it's a great web view. It's very simple to implement. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to, to share with you guys in this tutorial. I hope you find out this video useful. 
If you like it, then press the like button, share it with your friends or family members. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content, comments section is all yours. If you want such type of informative videos, then do subscribe to the channel. See you in next video.